lot different for me. I'm gonna focus on filming. I like to ride rails, backcountry, park, hopefully trying to get creative with the stuff that I'm gonna ride. I wanna get all of that on film. Yeah, so Ude, that's my hometown where I grew up in. Um, definitely nice people that like to go for beer. No big cities around here. You gotta drive like half an hour and then it's nice to just see the old history of Holland. So I got Johnny to come over to Holland to film me in my hometown and I think the one thing I was cool to show him was Amsterdam so we went to there, meet up with my friend, show him a bit what Amsterdam was about and it just has so much culture you know if you see the houses like they're really old they're all standing crooked like all the canals that are there like handmade like pretty much whole Amsterdam is built by the people from scratch it's what under sea level it's really low and the houses just all grown crooked because of that. Bikes are everywhere in Amsterdam. I mean, like, that's just the way to get around. It's just actually a pretty small city. You go from one side to another pretty quickly on a bike. Welcome to Holland. Nightlife pretty much continuing, like, all night, all day, all the time. Like, I think it's really nice to go out there because you meet so many different kind of people. Everybody from the world goes there. It's like the place in the world to meet up. I guess I'm really lucky with the dry slope. As a young kid, I was maybe six years old, I started to learn to ski there for like a ski holiday. I just went back every day, you know. I got on my bike and just drove there with my brother, biking around. Since I like started there, it was like amazing feeling just to slide down a hill and I mean, it isn't that big, but when I was younger, it looked really high and stuff, and got a big rush from it that I really liked, and we were preparing for a winter holiday, so that's how we learned it on there. It's uh, made from trash, that's how it started. The whole town dumped their trash in, uh, in one spot, and it kind of became a little hill. And uh, it's actually really nice, it's kind of like going for skateboarding, because you don't need that much outerwear. I started my season in Breckenridge, which is located in Colorado and uh, I know quite a lot of people out here, a lot of Europeans come out here to train and uh, this is a great time. So yeah, pretty much this trip I was just trying to get my legs back, you know, riding the parks, skipping around a bit, having fun, cruising with Amy and Basha, like the younger girls. They have so much energy and stuff. Early season I think it's all about having fun, get the feeling back for your snowboard and not necessarily like 1080s. And for me it's just knowing where I left last year is like gonna come back to me straight away. It kind of came like skateboarding because I grew up on the dry slopes and it was a lot more like skateboarding. So I like to do stylish things like front tree, just ollieing off a knuckle or something, but just like really put the style in. Like I'd rather do that than do like a huge jump and just hock a trick that I can really do. Um, for this season, I think we're going to get a lot of powder, so hopefully I'm going to be a lot in the backcountry. There's a lot of snowfall already. It's going to be my first time to really properly go into the backcountry, and I'm not that good at it as I learned to ride on dry slopes, so uh, hopefully trying to get creative with the stuff that I'm going to ride.
So we're here in San Juan's mountains, somewhere south of Colorado. Don't really know where I am as a European, but the landscape is amazing. I'm just gonna point out where we've built stuff in the past. Yeah. Such a good crew, yeah. I think, and it's like we never really wrote together. Yeah. Oh my God! I don't think I've got a wish for anything better to start off my season with.